Alright, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Casalink and Vlogs. And today we'll be talking about average division, the mean division, standard division, and variance for group data. This is mathematics and the modern world. So average division, the mean division for group data. So here is the formula in finding the average division. So by the way, this is absolute. Okay, I'll just correct it first. So this is absolute. So average division for group data. So this is the summation of the frequency times the absolute of x minus x bar over the n. This is the average division for sample and this is the average for division for population. So steps in computing average division. First is compute the mean of the frequency distribution. Subtract from each of the value in the data set and get the absolute value of x minus the mean and obtain the product of x minus the mean, the absolute of this one, and the frequency then add and solve for the average deviation. So let's have problem. The data below shows the frequency distribution of amounts of electric consumption of typical household in Bohol for the month of July 2012. Find the average deviation. So here are the amount of electric bill, bill in the number of families. Okay, so this is in terms of group frequency distribution. So we have here the first step. We have to compute the mean for the frequency distribution. So first is how to compute the mean of the frequency distribution is that th that is summation of f of x over n. So we have to find for the class mark, class mark here. So to find for the, me the mean, we have mean is equal to summation of f of x over n. So this is the first step, compute the mean of the frequency distribution. So we have to compute by the use of summation of f of x over n. What is x? x is the midpoint or the class mark. So how to find the midpoint or the class mark? We have 849 plus 700 divided by 2. If we're going to calculate that one, that is equal to 774.5. Okay. So next is to find for the next uh, class mark just add it by the interval okay so the interval of this one is we have if we're going to add okay they have add it by 150 i guess this is 150 if we're going to add it by 150 if we're going to subtract 850 minus 700 so we have here 150 so add it by 150 so the next term is 924.5 so next is by just adding here 150 we have here 1,754.5 add it by 150 again so we have 1,224.5 and adding it by 150 we have 1374.5 so again if you're going to check 13 plus 1449 divided by 2 i believe the result is 1345 1374.4.5 so next is you are going to multiply this one so to multiply we have fx so fx is equal to frequency times this one. Frequency. So 2 times 774.5, we have 1,549. Okay. Next, we have uh, 9 times uh, 924.5, we have 8,000. 320.50. So next is multiply 15 times 1074.5. The result is 16117.50. So again, multiply this one. 9 times 1224.5 by use of calculator 
we have 11, 0, 2, 4, 0 point, 11,020.50. Next, multiply 5 times 1374.5. We have 6,872.50. So now we could find now the summation of f of x. So the summation of f of x is we have. 43,830. So we have to substitute here in the value. So the mean is uh, submission of f of x is 43,830 over n. Our n here, if we're going to total, we have 40. So we have here 40. So the mean here in the, the frequency distribution is 1097 okay so this is the first step i believe compute the mean of the frequency distribution next is subtract the mean from each of the value in the data set so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the value of the data set so this one so x okay this one is x minus the mean so x minus the mean Okay, so x minus the mean. So, we're going to subtract it by x minus the mean. So, therefore, we have 774.5 minus 1,907. So, the result is negative 322.5. So, again, 774.5 minus the mean, which is... 1097 the result is negative 322.5 next 924.5 minus 1097 you have negative 172.5 and this one is subtracted 1074.5 subtracted by this one is 1097 is negative 22.5 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, minus 1,097, we have 1, 2, 7, 5, and this one is a 1, 3, 4, 5, minus 1,097, we have 2, 2, uh, 2, 7, 7, 5. Okay, next step is we are going to get the absolute, so the absolute of this one, so take the absolute, x minus the mean absolute, so it will become all positive. So we have 322.5, 172.5, 22.5, this is 0.5, and 127.5, and 277.5. The next step is you have to obtain the product of the absolute, okay, times the frequency. So F times the x minus the absolute. So therefore, we have 322.5 times 2. So the result of this one is 645. Okay. 645. Next is 9 times 172.5. We have 1,552.5. Twenty-two point five times fifteen, we have thirty three hundred thirty-seven point five. Next is one thousand one forty-seven point five. I know one twenty-seven point five times nine, we have one thousand one hundred forty-seven point five. Two seven seven point five times five again. Two seven seven point five times five, we have. 1,387.5. Next is we're going to get the submission of frequency times the x minus the bar. So the result of this one is 5,070. So you're going to add this one to get the submission of frequency times x minus the mean. Okay. So by the, the last step is we're going to make use of our formula. Okay, by the use of the formula, so AD is equal to summation of frequency times x minus the mean 
over n. So, summation of this one, we are going to get here 5,070 over Rn is 40. So, therefore, we could say that uh, 5,070 over 40 by the use of calculator, we have 126.75. So, we could say that the average deviation of the data is 126.575 pesos. Okay, that's all for the average deviation. Next, we have the sample variance and sample standard deviation of the group data. So here is the formula for variance. S squared is equal to summation of x minus the x bars quantity squared, n minus 1. And for this, for the alternative way of solving the sample variance, if we're going to take the square root of the variance, that is the sample standard deviation. So we have here the formula, and this one is the alternative. So here are the symbol and its description. So we have here. Okay, so we're going to look at here. The n is the sample population. Okay, this is the formula. So, steps in finding for the original formula. Okay, we have determined the midpoint. Uh, get the product of fx and find the fx and find the mean. Of course, this one is the solution in finding the mean. Next is subtract the mean from each of the value sets, values in the data set. And square this one, x minus the mean bar. This is x bar. And get the product of the frequency and the x minus the bar quantity squared. And then obtain the sum and substitute to the formula. For the alternative solution, determine the midpoints. Multiply the frequency and x and summation of x. Summation of f of x. Multiply f of x times x to obtain fx squared and substitute to the formula. So this is quite a short for the alternative okay so let's start with the problem determine the variance and standard deviation of the frequency distribution of the ages of 50 people taking casaligan travel and tours okay so let's have the solution so this is the class limit and the frequency of course the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to compute the mean of the data set okay we are going to compute the mean of the data set. Okay, first is determine the midpoint. Okay, first is we are going to determine the midpoint. So this is the first step in finding the mean. Okay, summation of f of x over n. Determine the midpoint. So to determine the midpoint, we have 18 minus 26 divided by 2. We have 22. Okay. Then get the interval. 27 minus 18, we have 9. So the interval is 9. So therefore, we could simply add it by 9 here, 31. The next is by adding 940, 49, 58, okay, 67, and 76. By just checking, 72 plus 80 divided by 2, we have 76. That's correct. Next step is multiply frequency this one, fx. So we have, are going to multiply. So 3 times 22, we have 66. Next is 5 times 31, we have 155. 9 times 40, we have 360. And 14 times 49, we have 686. 11 times 58, we have 638. And we have 6 times 67, we have 402. And 2 times 76, we have 152. Next, we are going to get the summation of this one. So our n here is 50. And the summation of f of x is equal to add this one here add so we have 2459 so by the use of this x bar okay 2459 
divided by n, which is 50, our mean is 2,445. So the mean that we're going to have is 49.18. So this is the mean. Okay. So next step is subtract the mean from each of the value in the data set. So it's this one, x and the mean subtract here. So x minus the mean. So this one, x minus the mean, which is 49.18. So the next step is x minus the mean. x minus the mean, we have 22 minus 49.18. So the result is 22 minus 49.18. We have 27.18. So this is negative 27.18. 31 minus 49.18. We have negative 18.18. 18. 40 minus 49.18. We have negative 8.18. 18 okay so 49 okay okay negative 8.18 okay next we have okay next we have 49 okay 49 minus 49.18 so we have Oh, by the way, this is 9.18. Okay. So this is 40. Okay, 40 minus 49.18. This is 9.18. Okay, so we have here 49 minus this one is negative 0 0.18. 58 minus 49.18. We have 8.82, okay. Next, we have 67 minus 49.18. We have 17.82. And we have 76 minus 49.18. We have 26.82. So let's try to check again we have 76 okay 76 minus 49.18 we have 26.82 so we have 67 minus 49.18 we have 17.2 check we have next is 58 minus 49.18 we have 8.82 49 so check so we have 40 minus 49.18 we have negative 9.18 uh, 31 minus 49.18 we have negative 18 check that's correct next is next step is the square of this one so the square of the result of x minus the x bar so we have here, we're going to calculate this one, the square of this one. So let's have, have the square, x minus the mean square. So 27 point, okay, we have 27 point, 27 point 18 squared, we have 738.7524. 738.7524. Next, we have 18. 18.18 squared. We have 330.5124. Okay, 330. Next, we have 9.18 squared. We have 
2724. You have 84.2724. Okay, this is 84. Next, we have 0.18 squared. We have 0 0.0324. We have 8.82 squared. We have 77.7924. 77.7924 We have 17.82 squared We have 317.5524 And 26.82 squared We have 719.5524 Okay, so next step is we are going to take the, okay, the next step is we are going to get the product of the frequency times the square. Of this one, frequency times x minus the mean squared. So the frequency is 3 times this part. Okay, 3 times 738.7524. Okay, so we have 2,000, 2,216.2572. Okay, next step, we have 5 times 330.124 because this is the frequency times this one. Okay, frequency 5 times 330. By 5124 5142 rather we have 1652.5620 next we have 9 times uh, 84.2724 so by the use of calculator okay we have 9 times 84.2724. We have 758.4516. Okay, we have 758. 758.4516. Next, we have 14 times 0 0.024. We have 0 0.4536. Next is 11 times 777924. We have 855.7164. Next step is... 6 times this one, 7137455524. 6 times this one is 1905.3144. 2 times uh, 719.3124. We have 14384.3144. Six two four eight. The next is we are going to get the sum of this one. Summation of frequency times the square. Okay. So the result of this one is eight eight two seven point three eight zero zero. So again eight thousand eight hundred twenty seven point three eight zero zero next is apply the formula of the value of the given variance so let's let's apply so the formula is in the variance is s squared is equal to summation of f times the square of x minus the mean over n minus one so we have here the result of this is eight eight two this one, 
3A00. So we're just going to substitute here. 8, 8 to 7 point 38 over 50 minus 1. So the result of this one is by the use of calculator, we have 180.15. So this is now the variance. Okay, next is the standard division. The standard division is just the square root of the variance. This is 180.15. So by the use of calculator, we have 13.42. So that's the variance of the standard division of the frequency distribution is 180.15 and the standard division is 13.42 respectively. Okay. That's all for the variance for the first uh, formula. So let's have the alternative formula. Okay. So the first step in finding the alternative solution is we're going to get the midpoint. Okay, the midpoint. So we have here, we're just going to copy the midpoint of this one. We have 22, 31, 40, 49, 58, 67, and 76. Same problem. So we're just I'm going to copy again, 22, this is 31, 40, 49, 58, 67, 76. Next is multiply its frequency with the corresponding x to obtain the product fx. Okay, we're going to multiply it here. The uh, 3 times 22, so we're just going to copy here, fx, 66, 155, 360, and so on. So we're just going to copy. Copy here, we have 66, 155, 360, 686, 638, 402, and 152. Okay. Next step is get the, the product of fx. Okay. We have here the product of fx. Okay. Next is multiply fx with x to obtain fx squared. So uh, I will just multiply this one and this one multiply to get fx squared. So what, what is the result? We have 22 times 66. We have, okay, 22 times 66, calculate, 22 times 66, we have 1,452, okay, 1,452. Next is 31 times 155. We have 4,805. Next, we have 40 times 360. We have 14,400. We have 49 times 686. Okay, so we have 33 and 614. So next is 58 times 638. We have uh 37 and 0, 004 next we have 67 times 402 we have 26 and 934 76 times 152 we have 11552 so we're going to make use of the formula okay Solution. So to find for the formula, we have s squared is equal to summation of f of x squared minus summation of f of x then squared over the n on overall n minus 1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the summation of f of x, okay, this one, and f of x squared. Let's try summation of f of x, okay, by the use of calculator, so 66 plus 155, 366, 86, 432, and 152, the result is 2,000, 
459. And we could make use of this also, fx squared. So by the use of calculator, okay, okay. So add, we have 129, 129.761. So now we could make use of this information to solve for the problem. So what is summation of x, f of, summation of f x squared is 129.761. Okay, we have here 129.761. 7, 6, 1, minus the summation of f of x, which is 2, 4, 5, 9. So, 2, 4, 5, 9, then squared over n, which is, what is the frequency? The total frequency is 50. So, therefore, we have here 50 over 50 minus 1. Okay, we have 2459 squared divided by 50. So we have 120933.92 divided by 50 over 49. So if we're going to calculate this one using calculator, we have 180.15 so to get for the this is the variance and to get for the standard division the square root of 180.15 we have 13.42 if we're going to look at the same result with the previous one which is the formula and this one is the alternative solution okay so this time you're going to solve for, try this, below the frequency distribution of the scores of 40 students in mathematics, compute for the average division, standard division, and variance using the formula and its alternative. Okay, so thank you so much for listening for this uh, video presentation for Casaligan Vlogs. I hope uh, you learned something about average division, standard division, and variance for group data. So thank you everyone for tuning in and please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and share. Thank you and God bless.